Howdy, howdy, everyone. Hope everybody's doing all right. It's Friday. I know it's been a minute since I, I posted a video. I mean, kind of, uh, my mother passed away and we had a funeral service for her and I got back in the saddle Wednesday and then, um, I don't know, kind of tried to make some videos anyway, but uh, yesterday my phone was giving me the fits. Every time I made, I tried to make three videos yesterday, had a couple conversion vans lined up, big windows, a lot of window busting, that kind of stuff. But uh, we don't got much going on, folks. Look, the price of metal's gone down. People still want the same price for their junk cars. Look, empty. Empty. I'm working on this, I'm working on these cars right here in this, this area, but that ain't nothing. Look over in that corner by them box trucks, empty. Over in the corner, empty. All of this, empty. Anyway, I might even be over here next week. Got me nervous. This is the time of year when, uh, you know, we like pick up and like you can start feeling everything. You know, there's a pace is starting to pick up. You can feel it this, this time of year. When it starts warming up, that's when business starts booming. And uh, I was crushing more in the winter than we are right now. And it's what it is. It'll be all right. Got a minivan here. You know, this would be a good chance to do a shout out real quick. Hang on. Well, let me get one on the on the rack. Y'all know the rules. Got another big body Lincoln, stinking Lincoln. Wonder what's in the trunk of this one. Let's get it up, process before we roll it over. Checking the trunk, that's how you make a mess. I got a feeling there's something in this car. Big body Lincoln. Yeah, we had a real nice little, sweet little uh, funeral service for my mom. and. Went back to the church and ate and that, that kind of stuff. And just taking it, uh, you know, day by day. I got a, I, I, yesterday also when I was trying to uh, make videos, I got a 97 uh, Trans Am. I got it, did all my stuff, did whatever, got it right up to the crusher, finally about to stick it in the crusher, video quiz. I still got it, but. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. Maybe we ought to, maybe ought to just post it anyway. All right, nothing on this. Well, aluminum wheel on the bottom. An aluminum wheel spare tire. I'll knock that off real quick. Well, if I can get in there without hitting this Lincoln. Got a man working under there right now. I'm all over that car. Let's get in there. All right, guys. I was going to do a shout out, but I need to get to crushing. I need to get to crushing. We got plenty of these minivans. Plenty of these minivans. It's coming, guys. I promise. If I tell you I'm going to do a shout out, I will. This one ain't worthy enough. 
junked out Dodge Caravan. I don't, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. We'll get something better. There's all kinds, these, all these vans come in all the time. But, uh, I saw, uh, when I was traveling back and forth from, uh, from my mom's funeral, uh, you know, you get out there on the highways and byways and you might run out of a radio station and have to start, you know, scanning and looking around. Man, this video's getting but anyway, so I was I was scanning through the radio and it landed on this uh, like a talk show type deal. They were talking about all kinds of stuff. And this one guy said, down in Florida, they're paying twelve dollars an hour to go snake hunting for the, the non-native uh, invasive species, your boa constrictors, your pythons. Yeah, twelve dollars an hour. That don't seem like a whole bunch of money to me. Alright, let's get this car over here. I've already processed this little whatever it is. I got to thinking about that uh, that snake wrangling job. I mean, so let's say you like, you know, you got your employee out there, you got your new guy, you know, you, he's been working a week or so, but he just ain't cutting it. I mean, how do you fire somebody from snake wrangling? You know, I mean, what do you say? Uh, I've been watching you all day, man. It, it just don't. I just don't seem like you're running in there really aggressive and getting these snakes. Seem like you're kind of laying back a little bit. Man, I mean, what do you tell the guy? Man, I get applications every day for somebody wanting your job. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Don't seem like something I'd want to do for $12 an hour. I mean, now if there's dental and vision, you know, insurance, that's a little different story. All right, folks. Cowboy is back in the saddle. But there ain't going to be much. I don't even know if I'm going to be over here next week crushing. I mean, they better miracle some cars. I don't think it's going to happen. Kind of nervous. That's what, we, that's what I do for a living. There ain't no cars. <laughs> Y'all can do the math. Well, I mean, if y'all don't like a, if y'all don't like videos that are too long, I mean, well, guess we, I got some more over here. I need to, I've got process ready to crush. What we got here? Nine minutes. Nine minutes of cowboys back in the saddle. Back in the saddle with nothing to do. We'll get it going. All right. See, done with that big body Lincoln. Oh, he's draining the gas right now. So we might go ahead and cut this video short. He's putting the final touches on that. 
getting it processed. As soon as it gets done draining. But, uh, there's not much going on. I've never seen this place this empty. And, uh, we're the only ones crushing me and Minnesota guy. Boy, it sure does look dark. Guess there's not an auto brightening, darkening. Oh, well, come on, let's see what he's ready. He's putting the plugs in. He's ready. I'm like to break the wheels off. See, man, this something ain't right. That's too dark. always something I can't I can't make I mean this is what I do I make videos come on break off lug nut on top, it's on top. A locking lug on top. Oh, you want to be a hard head, huh? That's what we do with hard heads around here. We don't put up with that. You will comply. That's all there is to it. Look what it did to the rim. Look, it broke the back of the rim. I'm gonna finish breaking it. Not my problem. All right, watch out, Mario. Watch out, Mario. locking lugs he got on there one looks like two on this wheel that ain't gonna work we'll try it
Now take, take a peek in the trunk. Let go. Now take a peek in the trunk. Nothing. Make sure there's no battery. Oh, I still got cats on this car. Dang. I better get after it. This video is really getting long. No cat was harmed in the processing of this car. Lincoln Lincoln meets the end of the road. That's good, buddy. Raise the lid. Oh, he's wanting to squeeze it some more. All right, I got some some stuff I've been processing here and there and crushing here and there. So now we're ready to actually build the bundle. This is stuff that I've crushed, pulled out, crushed because it's it just gets easier sometimes on this big stuff. It's just a lot easier. Well, I think my phone's back to work, and I swear I, I tried to make three videos yesterday. Easy. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer, bud. Come on. Yeah. Crush it. Cowboy's back in the saddle. Back in the saddle. So what we got in there right now is a Chevy truck with an extra cab 
off of like some Ford pickup and then this is an expedition they'd separated the frame and the chassis to get the motor out or the body and the chassis to get the motor out I just crushed them backwards ain't no biggie it don't matter and uh, this is gonna be one big bad bundle I'm gonna put that stinking Lincoln on top Woo! it's gonna be a nose diver for sure We're gonna get that uh, stinking Lincoln and this bundle will be done. Drop the hammer. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I miss my mom, but you gotta keep on keeping on. She wouldn't have it any other way. Let's see if I can get this thing in there. It's going to be heavy when I get it out. Okay, folks, we're going to crush them down. There ain't much more here to do, and I'm not sure when I'll be putting out another video. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and post that Trans Am video and call it Trans Am Gets Processed. I was having some equipment difficulties, but... Uh, totally on two wheels right now and now we got to go over this car yeah the rear end is totally off the, off the ground oh here's where we go here's where we drop all right we're good we're good we're good okay folks thank you very much for sticking with me and um, got shout outs coming I promise I know I've said if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. If I asked you what you want, you got it coming. We'll get to it, I promise. But, uh, Cowboy's back in the saddle. Thank you.